let's cover three important editors the outliner, hypergraph and hypershade and we're also going to put these on our custom shelf so we have a quick access to them these three editors are going to be very important as you are modeling your environments you will find these three editors under window outliner then we have hypergraph and under rendering editors we have hypershade so let's put these on our custom shelf hold on control shift and as you hold these down go under window let's do outliner hypergraph and then under rendering hypershade now we have these uh, we can access them through our custom shelf so let, let's cover the outliner first the outliner allows you to choose all of your objects inside the scene it allows you to rename the objects right now in our scene uh, we don't have any objects except for our cameras by selecting these cameras you can see that the channel box editor changes if we open up our attribute editor we can go inside each camera and change the attributes of each camera's properties by selecting each camera. Let's insert a couple of objects. Let's insert the cube. Uh, now let's insert a cylinder and let's insert the sphere. So we have three objects in our scene and let's open up the outliner and here we have our three objects. This helps us to organize our scene better. We can select our objects, the ones that we want, without going to the viewport looking for them. If it's a large scene, uh, this helps a lot to select certain objects as well as lights and uh, we can also rename our objects by double clicking and renaming some of these objects instead of going up to the channel box and doing it through here so the outliner is going to be very helpful uh, as you're working on your environments now let's go up to hypergraph hypergraph is another way to uh, organize the scene and see everything inside this shows nodes for your objects here so uh, very similar to Outliner. Here we can uh, rename our objects by selecting the object. It gets selected in the viewport. We can also right click. We can rename. Instead of working everything inside our viewport by opening up the hypergraph or the Outliner, we can select various objects. We can rename them. We can manipulate them. We can put them in groups. So this allows us to view our entire scene in terms of nodes and hierarchy. And the last one is Hypershade. Turn on the hypershade. This is where you would be creating your materials for your models, working with textures. So in here, you have variety of shaders, variety of materials, and through here you would be creating a complex structure of various shaders and applying them to your geometry. So these three, the outliner, the hypershade, and the hypergraph, are going to be very commonly used throughout the production. And as we begin to model our environments, uh, we will we'll get more into depth at using each one.